Imagine if someone was able to clone the voice of a loved one and then they call you begging for help. It is a growing threat. And tonight, CBS 2 News investigator Masa Saidi looks into how it can be stopped. He said, Dad, I'm in trouble. I got in an accident. I think I broke my nose. Gary Schildhorn was in action mode. He needed $9,000 to bail out his son Brett after a crash. Within two minutes, Schildhorn believed he had spoken with three different people. His son, a defense attorney, and a court clerk. As he drove to the bank to withdraw the cash, he updated his son's wife. Then his phone rang. It was Brett on FaceTime. I'm fine. You're being scammed. As an attorney experienced in fraud, Schildhorn was stunned. But it was scary. I wanted to know what it takes to clone a voice. I found an AI-powered website and paid $5 to use the service. Next, I needed a 30-second audio clip of the voice I wanted to replicate. Did you know that all you need is 30 seconds of... My executive producer, Walter, loaned his voice. And you put it into a system. But... I could have also pulled it from his social media. I'm currently the executive producer. And just like that, it sure does sound like Walter. I had cloned it. But it's not really Walter. The AI generated voice would say, whatever I typed. This is mind blowing, Masa, mind blowing. What are regulators doing to stop this? And also, what can we do in the meantime? Okay, so they're trying to propose legislation that will let you know when you're listening to fake content. It's called digital watermarking. I'll have much more on that tonight at 11. In the meantime, law enforcement says that right now, everyone listening, create a secret code word, tell your family what that word mm -hmm. is. So when they call you and they're crying, you can say, what's the code? If they don't know it, that is how you know that you are getting scammed. Great tip. Great tip. Thank you, Masa.